Hi guys. How is everybody? I am so excited that I actually am able to talk to you guys in today's live. It has been so amazing being able to go live and vlog all of Beckham's intensive treatment. It is so fun because when I'm holding the camera, even when I'm not talking to you guys on his lives, like most of you saw last week, I was still able to go through and read all of your amazing, encouraging comments. And it was just like the best feeling in the entire world seeing Beckham's support system firsthand and you guys being so excited to see him. So right now Beckham is in the spider cage. And so I actually quickly popped in, said hi, and he was just doing so well and was so somber. I didn't want to rock the boat at all. As you guys saw last week, I was able to be with him and go live for like 40% of his therapy session, which is four hours long in total. So for like an hour and a half or so, I was able to be with him. His demeanor didn't change. Oftentimes he's actually quite like excited and motivated if I'm right there, which is super fun. But today he was just doing so well and was so peaceful and calm. I just was like, you know what? I'm going to step out, let Beckham do his thing. And I thought I would go live and answer your guys' questions from last week because I'm sure you guys have so many questions. There were so many comments I wasn't able to talk to you guys about. So I'm going to be answering all of your questions about Beckham's intensive therapy today. Hi, Dakota. You guys. Hi, Cindy. Hi, Janice. Hi, Calvin. Hi, Bevy. Hi, Chloe. You guys are so sweet. So this morning has gone really well. We are officially on day one of week two of Beckham's intensive therapy for his cerebral palsy. The center has just been unbelievable. It has been incredible. There is a total of five therapists, all of which are so talented, just incredible with these kids. From what I can tell, there's typically three patients or so at a time in their four hour blocks. So you really feel like you have the whole facility to yourself. As you guys saw, I was able to film for the majority of the time without getting any other kids in the footage, which was super exciting. And so things have just been unbelievable. That's like the only word I can use to describe it. I have never been this hopeful. I am so hopeful. I am so happy. And we're only like 33% of the way through it. So it's really exciting. And this morning was awesome. I was able to drop him off. We were early today, which was great. I was able to drop him off. And then I went and lifted at a nearby gym and I am able to see him on the app. So it's really fun that I can like check in, see what he's doing on the app. And then I actually went and got a pedicure because I desperately needed one. So I was like editing a ton of videos for you guys while I was getting my toes done. And then I quickly got a swig. I have been dying in terms of needing a little bit more energy and caffeine. So I got a little Diet Coke. And that's been awesome. Then I popped back in and said hi to Beckham, but I didn't want to mess up his vibe because he was just vibing today, you guys. He was so calm, so peaceful in the spider cage. So I just popped in. I said, hey, I'm going to go jump in my car and just wait the rest of the time and I'll run back in in about 15 minutes to get him. But he has been doing amazing. So did I get to see him in the bike today? I didn't get to watch it, but he did do the bike today and something that is really exciting. So the little pedals that he's, his feet are in when he's in the bike at the beginning of last week, the therapist was doing like all of the mobility for him. And by Friday of last week, Beckham was pushing down the pedals on his own, which was insane, insane. You guys, I'm so excited about it. Um, while your guys' questions are coming through, thank you so much for the sweet compliment on my eyelashes. Okay, the spider cage. So the spider cage is in my videos. If you guys see, it's kind of like an open cage, basically, where they have Beckham sitting in the middle in like a harness. And then there's bungee cords like attached to each corner of the 
spider cage. That's what the therapists call it. And it helps him be able to be in a sitting position, in a crawling position, in a standing up position. And it's super, super exciting. It's really cool because they have all of this equipment where they're able to aid Beckham in ways that I could never aid him at home. So it's really, really exciting to watch. I just get my nails done at like a local salon. I did kind of like a Halloween theme. They're a dark brown. I don't think anybody cares about that, but thank you for the compliment. You guys are so sweet. Um, One more quick thing that I wanted to say, just like while you guys were here, I didn't have the opportunity to thank you for this last week, but while I'm doing these lives, a lot of you have been so generous to donate to Beckham's Therapy, even like a dollar, which I know it doesn't feel like that makes a difference. But it truly, truly does. And I just want to say from the bottom of my heart, thank you so much. Hunter and I are already planning on scheduling another intensive for the spring before we're even done with this one because it has been so life-changing. And I just want to say your guys' support of following my videos, liking them, commenting on them, donating to Beckham, every cent that we make from YouTube... I want you guys to know goes directly towards Beckham's therapy and Beckham's treatments that are elective that insurance doesn't pay for. And I just want to say thank you so much. Just thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Like, I just like, I wish I could give you a hug and like tell you just how much it means to us because it just, it means a lot to have that extra help. And so I just wanted to say thank you and I just want you guys to know that like every, every single cent of what comes through on YouTube goes to Beckham. All of it. All of it is allocated towards him and I'm just really, really grateful and if we're able to do three treatments of this intensive therapy next year, a huge part of that is because of your support and your guys's generosity. And I just want to, again, say thank you so, so much for that. I love you guys so much. Okay. I'm going to like go through and read these sweet comments. Hi, Holly. You are so sweet. Oh my goodness, all the way from Ireland. That's amazing. Yes, Beckham did incredible on the bike. It was so fun. Oh, you guys are so, so sweet. Okay, so do you guys want to hear this amazing idea that I have? So Hunter and I have been, you know, so fortunate to be able to put Beckham in this program. And I've talked to you guys a lot about how it's expensive. And I, I just can't help but like think of the families who don't have the means to be able to maybe get funding or don't have the means to put their kids in these programs that can truly make such a life-changing difference. So I reached out to a couple of my friends in the industry, in the social media industry, who have children with cerebral palsy, and I want to um, hold a charity walk in the spring and I want it to be structured where in order to like walk in the little like 5k or whatever, it's like 20 bucks a person or something like that. And every cent that we make from that charity walk is donated to Now I Can in order to grant more funds and more grants to the families who have children that need and deserve to do this program that don't have the funds or ability or means to do so. And I thought it would just be so cool if we did that once a year. And so I'm going to do that. I'm going to host it. I'm going to make it happen. And every cent that is donated is going to go to Now I Can, the facility that Beckham is doing his intensive therapy at, so that we can not only help Beckham be able to do this program, but I really, really want that money specifically that's raised from that charity walk to go to the center 
for the exact purpose to buy more equipment for these kids and to give grants to families who literally cannot afford to put their children in this program. So I'm really excited. I have talked to the two other girls who want to be involved and help drive traffic to get more people to participate and more people to donate. And then I'm going to talk to the founder of Now I Can and um, see if they would like to get involved as well and just advertise it to like their audience and just the people who, who have supported the center in the first place. So I think that that would just be so, so amazing. Yes. Okay. I love, um, seeing Beckham with Chloe as well. It's just kind of hard when Chloe doesn't want to be loved on, um, because Beckham doesn't know how to, manage his sweet little hands when it comes to Chloe in terms of his strong little grip. <laughs> Beckham really has come so far. You guys are so sweet. It's truly just been so exciting. I'm going to try and bust out and answer any questions that you guys have in the next uh, let's see, six minutes before I run in and grab Beckham because he will be done with therapy. Hi, Mariah. Okay, what cycle are you referring to? Okay, you guys, so what I might be able to do is I might be able to leave you on live, run into the center and grab him, and then once I get him into the car, you guys can say hi to him. So if you want to see Beckham... Then stick around and I will bring him out. Okay, so how long will Beckham be doing intensive therapy for? So Beckham is in a program that is three weeks long. It is five days a week and it is for four hours. So he is on week two, day one. So he has two more weeks left and he's already made so much improvement just in the first week. We are just so excited and we really feel strongly that if he consistently does this program, it will be so much more beneficial than traditional physical therapy just because they specialize in muscle tone and children with neurological damage, which is Beckham. So we're really excited about it. I found out that Beckham had cerebral palsy when he was six months old at a at an appointment at the hospital with his neurology team. That's where he was diagnosed. Carol, you are so sweet. So it depends if you would like to donate directly to Beckham's therapy or if you would like to donate directly to Now I Can. You can do either. One goes to other children, one goes to Beckham, and both are incredible and amazing. So feel free to reach out to me and I can give you the link to both. Yes, he did amazing pulling himself up from sitting to standing. He's been doing phenomenal. And guess what, you guys? All weekend, Beckham was literally sitting on one of our stools playing with toys on the couch. I just posted a video on Instagram. It was so incredible. Thank you so much. We are so lucky to have our kids. We are so, so blessed to have our kids. Hi, Christina. Thanks for joining. Okay, so Kayla, I think that this is just for pediatrics, the center. They don't take adults, if I understand correctly. I believe it's up until the age of 18, but I could be incorrect about that, so let me double check. Laura, thank you so much. I've genuinely never felt more positive than I have since Beckham started this program, and I just really feel like it's been such a gift from God and the universe. So Jen, she's asking why some therapists do tell parents that kids will walk and why some don't. And I think the reason that therapists are really careful about expectations and what they tell parents is because all of it is just a prediction. There is not any guarantee behind that line of questions or answers. And so I think they try to be really careful to protect the parents from having misguided expectations. Yes, Blakely is at home with her daddy. 
She was with her MAGA this morning, my mom, and then she's with Daddy today. And then Hunter's mom, who is Nani, also helps out too. They've all been amazing. Will Hunter go with Beckham to see his therapy at the center? So right now, it's worked out really, really well for me to take Beckham. Hunter can totally take Beckham and bring him, but I really like bringing Beckham so that I can get footage, so that I can talk to you guys as well. It's just worked out a little bit easier for me to do it. But yes, Hunter's like not opposed by any means to come and watch Beckham do therapy. He just has been with Blakely, which has worked out really well. I think therapists do their best to be accurate, but it's just really hard to know. I am 28. Thank you, Eva. You're so kind. I really do believe that Beckham will walk one day. I don't know what that will look like, and I don't care, but I really believe that he will. So he actually doesn't fall asleep on the drive home from therapy, Beckham, but he does zonk out the second we get home and I feed him and I put him down for nap time. He has been taking good naps. Yes, Catherine, Beckham does go to school. He's obviously taking these three weeks off for his intensive, but I've been in close contact with his teacher. They're super encouraging of him being at intensive therapy, but he will go right back to preschool as soon as these three weeks are up. Christina, thank you so, so much. I... It's interesting because, you know, when you have a special needs child, you would do anything to change it and give them the best quality of life possible and take any of their pain from them. But I really feel like the only reason I have qualities of strength is because Beckham is so strong and he is my example every day. So someone asked, do they teach you how to do therapy with him at home so that maybe he can benefit from it when it's over? So that's such a great question. One of the reasons I love this program so much is in traditional therapy, it's like parents are paying really close attention and they're basically teaching you what to do at home. But in intensive, it's like, they prefer parents to not be as involved and they are the trained professionals. Like they know exactly what they are doing. They have incredible equipment, but everything they're doing here should show improvements of what he's already doing at home. If that makes sense. Brooke, stop. You had a dream that Beckham was walking. That's amazing. You guys are so sweet. I can't believe that he's four years old either. Okay guys, it's 12 o'clock. I'm going to run in and get him, but I'm going to leave you guys on live. I will be back with Beckham in like literally two minutes. So hang out, chat in the comments. You guys are amazing. I'm obsessed with all of you. I will be right back. Let's take a quick little drink. Give myself energy for this drive home. Hi guys, look who it is. <laughs> Don't worry, I will show Beckham in just a minute. He might catch a glimpse of the camera first though. Let's get him all buckled. Good job, honey. He is definitely looking a little tired today, guys. There you go, good job. Okay, I just ran into one of his therapists and she was like, oh my goodness, you should have heard Beckham this morning. He had a giggle attack and I'm like, you are kidding me. That's so sweet. Okay, guys. Hi, baby. Did you have the best therapy session in the world? 
Look at his sweet little eyes. Oh, do you see all of your friends? Oh yeah, he is a sleepy boy. Are you hungry? Should we go home and get you some food? Yeah, that was him telling me that he's hungry. He is a hungry, hungry boy. Yeah, should we go get some food? Okay, so he did absolutely incredible. He does have a tiny little scab right there on his chin, as you guys might be able to see, just kind of right here. That's actually just from this weekend, him playing with his toys and playing with Blakely. But he did so phenomenal in therapy today, actually. All of his therapists were literally raving to me about how good of a job he did. And I'm like, oh, that is so, so sweet. But um, he had like a laughing attack. I also think it's nice that he was able to obviously rest on Saturday and Sunday. You okay? <laughs> oh, you okay, sweetheart? Um, so I'm going to go home, give him a big oral feed just to get some liquids like in his throat. Just because obviously he gets tired during his therapy sessions. And then I give him like a massive meal right before bed. And then he sleeps like a cute, adorable little baby for his afternoon naps lately. And then we are going to do bath time, get him all clean for the week later today. He's just been doing amazing. So I hope that that was a fun little update for you guys. I hope I answered some of your questions. I of course don't want to do a live and drive at the same time. So I'm going to go ahead and close out today's live, but I just want to say like, I really genuinely love you guys so much. And I recognize the familiar names that are always popping up with comments and we're just so grateful for you. And again, I just want to say thank you so much to everybody who has supported us in any way. We love you guys so much. And you know, I will be back on live tomorrow. I'm not sure exactly what time, but just turn on post notifications. It'll ballpark be around this time. So if you want to turn on post notifications, then you will be notified when I go live and we'll be able to jump on and watch Beckham at Therapy. I love you guys so, so much. And I hope you guys have the best week ever because we know Know that we are going to have the best week ever. Love you guys. Becca, would you like to say bye to your friends, honey? Can you say bye-bye? Bye. I love you guys. He loves you guys so, so much. Yes. You want to give hugs? Oh, good job, sweetheart. Oh my goodness. Good job. You're doing so good using your voice. Oh my goodness. And there we go. My tired little man. Okay. Love you guys. Bye.